third period. The third period is upon us. Eight to nothing for the Gladiators. I'm being told that in January, I'll have to watch my map because the Gladiators are making the trip up. Jonas Star shot! Wow, almost handcuffing the goaltender. Star almost put a goal on the board there. But I'm being told that the Gladiators are coming up to Traverse City. Center ice to play the old six travel team. Now, if I'm correct, I'm hoping that is Dallas Drake's team because that will be a contest. That puck will go out of play. I cannot wait to see that game. Regardless of which travel team it is, I'm not sure which one, but we will find out in January. Sometimes when you ask for things, you get what you want. Thank you for that information, sir. The clock is rolling. 14 minutes is left in the third period. Traverse City just trying to get one goal. Conaway. Pass up front. Rebound was there. Watch out, here comes the Gladiators again. Pass over. Number 23 couldn't get to it though. Peyton Freeman. Ooh, another chance in front of the net. Wheeler. Nice slap shot. But a good save by Reardon. Reardon's learning a lot today. Learning how to be alert and save as much as they can. Isaac Wheeler dumps his puck in the corner. Wheeler. Wow, oh, Travis can get ahead. Defense is there though. Shot on goal. McKinney has made about five saves the entire hockey game. Reardon has had about 700 shots on goal. Dominic Reardon has done a great job. He has stopped 692 shots out of 700. And I'm telling you, just kidding. But to put it into perspective, that's what he's done. <laughs> wow. Defended well by Traverse City. The North Stars are trying to get up the ice. Oh, a shot off for Reardon. A rebound. Watch out. Loose puck. Reardon will smother the puck. And we'll go to a face-off. She's all about that base, but the Gladiators are all about that puck, baby. Let's just listen to the sounds of the game for a little bit here. Here comes Glavin back up the ice on a three on two. Does not develop though. Sending this puck over. Watch out. Getting that puck out of the way. Landon Woods has been everywhere on the ice. And the save is made. Jacob McKinney will keep the action going though. Pass off. Skating the heart of the corner goes number seven for Trevor City. Wow. 
Braxton Lusinski is playing a good defensive role, but what can you do when you have a locomotive like this coming at you on offense? Ian Boss in the faceoff. Lusinski in the shot. Could have had a chance to get a shot on goal there, but hit some bodies in front of that. Jordy Richmond will send over. Ian Boss. And here comes the red, white, and blue gladiators up the ice. Three on two, they go. Pass in front. That could have been as easy as taking candy from a baby, but a good save made by Reardon. Nine minutes left. Right now, Traverse City is just trying to protect a double-digit lead as another player from the Gladiators was absolutely flying in there. That was Isaac Wheeler again. Can the Traverse City keep the Gladiators from scoring 10 goals? Lately, it's been double-digit games over top of the opposition is what I've been told. Let's make a small little victory for Traverse City to keep this game under 10 goals. We have an icing. Got to keep the camera on the game there, cameraman. I'm sure we were looking at the corner there a second ago, but it's okay. Bringing this game to you today in the videography side of arts is Christian Goss, my son. Wish him a happy birthday this month. He'll be 14 years old on November 25th, and Razor Razor Sharp will be 46 years old. On November 21st, I turned 20, I turned 46 before he turns 14. He has to wait a little longer. <laughs> a shot. Trevor T is looking for that eluding goal of the game. Have not been able to score as the goodness is flying. Watch out, this is a two on one developing. Pass over. Nice save by Reardon who slides over and is poised there. We have six minutes and 45 seconds left to find out if the North Stars can keep this team from scoring a 10 spot. And also can they score a goal of their own? Here comes Star. Jonah Starr could be the one to do that. Trying to get around the D, but a great defensive play by number 22. Landon Woods has played great defensively and offensively. Here it comes, Landon Woods. Save is made off the big paddle of the stick there. Six minutes left in the third period. Eight to nothing. Jordy Richmond will shoot this one down behind the net. Oh look! Wow, there was a nice shot on goal by Ian Boss, who almost became one of the very rare goal scorers against the Gladiators. If you score a goal against the Gladwin Gladiators, you better keep the puck. It doesn't happen often. Five minutes will tell us if uh, Trevor City can keep this team from a 10 spot. Here comes 14, Ashton Ranky. Trevor City defending well. 
Pass out front did not work out. Here comes number 13, BB. BB passes over. Trying to handle that was number 21 for Traverse City. Could not get to it. That's Matthew Snowbrew who tried to handle that pass. Landon Woods is absolutely buzzing around the net again. Passes over to a friend. That puck will go out to center ice. Isaac Wheeler will send over to Landon Woods. Landon Woods will keep it in the zone. Nice little cutoff there by Lasinski. Now the one thing I want to share with you about this team. Yes, this is Bantam hockey. But the Gladiators are so dominant that their coach chose to move them up. And they're playing up the Bantam level. And I'm here to tell you, there's not a lot of kids out there that are really the age of a Bantam player. That's how good they are. They're actually playing up. They are... There's more or less... Whoa! Lasinski got smashed into the boards by two gladiators. Let's hope nothing comes of that as an injury. That may be a hurt shoulder. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, the team of the gladiators is made up of mostly kids that are 12 years old. I don't even know who's 13 and 14. I don't even know if they have a 14 year old on their team, but they are playing up because they're so dominant in the category they're in. And you're seeing it here. I cannot wait till they make that trip to Traverse City and take on travel. Wrap around. And that was beautifully played by number 13, Drew Von Mott, who found that puck behind the net, wrapped it around, and it is nine to nothing. With two minutes left on the clock, can the Traverse City North Stars hold back the flood that's coming down of pumps and stop a 10 spot? Can it be done? It is nine nothing. Come on, Traverse City, defend. You only need to defend for two more minutes to be able to stop this from being a 10 spot. Conaway. And the other question is, is can the team from the great up north sharing capital score a goal? Trevor City has a chance to not let them score 10. Believe it or not, that's actually an accomplishment, ladies and gentlemen. Glavin, is that good? Watch out, here's a break. This could be trouble for Trevor City. Sending over a look. Another send over. Oh, wow. Tick, tack, goal! Clayton Newman finishes that off with a perfect precision shot to the back of the net of a perfect pass. On that on that rush it is, well guess what? It is a 10 spot. They could not hold off the Gladiators from 10 goals. I do have to say though, that Traverse City did battle today. They played hard. They're just outmatched. The competition is just so high when you play the Gladiators. What a perfect name for this hockey team. I want to take this time once again to say thanks to Bill Von Mott and the rest of the town of Gladwin for inviting me here. I want to do more. I want to do more games. So I'll stay in touch with the coach and we'll make the trip again. The seconds are counting down. 
This game's all but over. And that will be it. Traverse City will send one on goal and will not count, will not be a goal. The Gladiators have shut off the Traverse City North Stars with a score of 10 to nothing. And as they come pay respects and get on the blue line and tap their sticks, you know, I don't usually do this, but we're going to talk about the three stars of the game. Actually, I'm just going to say one star. The entire Traverse City North Star team came to play hard, but the Gladden Gladiators as a whole, they get my number one star, the entire team, because they play as team members and not for themselves. It is so amazing to see a team not be, players not be selfish on the ice. That's why they're so good. Well, this is Razor Razor Sharp. I love to make it a trip to Gladwin. And until the next hockey game, I'm saying one statement. Hockey off.